Hi. Good to see you today. Me too. Excited about your surgery? Yeah. Very excited. Yeah, are you a little nervous too? A little nervous, yeah. All right. So then what made you come to the decision to do a cochlear implant? Well, um, Deb, who had been my audiologist ever since I was two, she, she'd been kind of, you know, informing me on it, and then when she told me that there was one in Bismarck, then I was like, okay, so let's do it. Okay, so when did you when did you decide that? Or about well, that? I I went home that night after Deb had told me about it, and my husband and I talked about it, and then I just decided to call Amanda, and then um, she kind of came with some information from there. So. And when was how long ago was that? I was say about a month and a half ago. Yeah. A month and a half ago. Right? Yeah. So you found it was a out, quick decision, but you found out a month and a half ago that you knew you could <coughs> your hearing back into the brain. Yep. And here you are. Yep. That's so pretty, I'm excited. That's pretty great sound. So any other questions about the surgery or um no, like I did a lot of research before, you know, coming here today, so I think I got my knowledge up set up on it, so Excellent. Yeah. Can you just shave a little bit of the hair over here? Yeah, let me show you. <laughs> That's your biggest worry, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I love long hair. Yeah, no, I mean, it's going to be very, very little. Okay. Just enough to get the exposure okay. we need. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to mark a Y for yes on the left side here. Okay. All right, well, the anesthesiologist will be very short of these two. Okay, just getting ready for the surgery. Can you hear me? See, now I have my mask on so she can't uh, read my lips. She, so she, she knows that I'm saying something, I think, but. Can you hear me now? Okay. Uh, you don't have your hearing aids in? I took my mask off briefly and she, she can read my lips, so. All right. I promise not to shave too much of your hair. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. Looks like they're just getting ready to do the anesthesia, and then once she's asleep, we'll uh, we'll take a look at the uh, the surgical site. The incision is pretty much going to be about right like that. We do have to shave a little bit of the hair. I think we can get away with that much. Right there. Okay. Okay. So the canal is there. Just gonna make the incision. Right like that. That'll be the incision. <clears throat> so you can see this is where the incision is gonna be. When we plan the surgery, we have to plan where, where everything's going to be afterwards. So this is a dummy that shows where the device is going to be. The hearing device is going to be sitting on the head. So I need to mark that. So that's where that's going to be. And then the implant that's buried under the skin is going to be behind that device, pretty much right there. So the incision is right here. Okay. On? So this is the internal processor here. 
This is the magnet, this is the coil, and this is the electrode and the ground electrode there. And the two devices communicate between the magnets. That's right. So, um, see, I put the gel foam over the mastoid and I'm putting the bone to reconstruct it. So, I mean, dab it uh, savings. Okay. And then we can put the stereo strips on now, too. Okay, so there's the incision. See what there. We're stimulating the implant and we're looking for a response from the mirror. Alright, so now we are stimulating. We're going to see a nice trough and peak response. So, Keaton says, and NRT looks fantastic. Okay, looks like we're done. All right, you guys, we're done with surgery. We inserted the electrode, and, and the, the surgical part went, you know, perfect. Once we closed everything, uh, Amanda, our audiologist, she tested all the electrodes, and everything looks good. The pain medication is just as you know. If she wants to just take time, she can do that too. She doesn't have to. Okay. All right. So we've got follow-up appointment set next week, and then I think we have the one month set as well already. If not, uh, then we'll uh, get that set up. Okay. And I'll let Amanda talk to you next. Basically, this is going home with you, and there's instruction manuals in here. If Amanda feels like it, she can certainly start reading through and just become familiar with what the equipment looks like. She can open any of the boxes. That's I'll go over all of it with you. How was surgery? Good. No pain at all yet. No pain at all? So you feeling good? Yeah. Okay. Good. So your most of your hair is still on there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, they gave you all your medications and they talked to you. Uh, okay. okay. Any questions? Not yet. All right. So I'm going to see you next week. Okay. Okay. All right, so I'll see you back next week. Thank you. So this was just one week after the surgery, yep, I'm saying? Yes, that's correct. So how was the surgery for you? It was good. Any issues? No. Nope. Just had, like, some sharp shooting pain every now and then, but other than that, it was probably from the pressure. Okay. Let's take a look here. Okay, so they got the soap there off, so there's the incision. Yeah, okay, yeah, it looks good. When did you stop taking the pain medication? Um, I never took oxycodone. Oh, you never had to? Wow. Did you take Tylenol or anything? Um, I took Junior's Tylenol. I don't like regular Tylenol, the ones you swallow, so I took Junior's chewable tablet. Okay, great. So what's next? Um, and in three weeks we'll hook up the hearing aid part and hopefully find out if it works. That's right. <clears throat> and I'll, I'll see you back after that to make sure the fluid's out of the ear, that the ear is completely healed. Okay. And uh, it's going to work. Okay. Okay? Yep. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for you too. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. Well, let's take a look. Okay. So, it looks like it's healing up really well. It's, now it's time for you to get activated. Are you excited? Yep. Okay. So we're going to do that next. And then after that, I usually like to see you back three to six months okay. uh, later just to make sure everything's going well. Um, in my experience, patients do, it's really that first six months where you're programming the device and getting used to it. But after six months, usually you're a pro at it. Okay. So, and then I'll, after that, I see you once a year. So. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, so I'll see you in the other room in just a minute. Okay. So the whole waiting room here is, is uh, Amanda's family. <laughs> All here excited for her to get uh, activated. <laughs> Are you excited for your mom to hear? <laughs> he, he, speechless, right? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this on. So this is the external piece. Okay. You're not going to hear anything right away. I'm going to be running some tests so you can just sit quietly. Okay. okay. sounds will be very soft for her. Any, anything yet? Okay, now what do you think? Yeah. Okay, is my voice more comfortable? I can't hear you. Can't hear me, okay. okay. So am I supposed to hear the buzzing over you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is it high-pitched? Um, yeah, it's high okay. pitched. Okay. 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 Yeah, I think she's hearing the stimulation from the actual implant. Okay. So it's just it's electricity. Yeah. yeah. She's hearing the electricity. Yeah. I thought maybe she was saying she was hearing some of the background. Amanda. Again, this is the audiogram. How we map your hearing. Yep. Yeah, I do. So loudness over here, soft sounds to loud sounds. Mm -hmm. So before surgery, your best threshold was 85 decibels. Okay, you started in the severe range, you gradually sloped down to profound. Okay, the green line is what you're hearing today with the implant. Yeah, we're all about hearing. So at worst, it's a mild. hearing so much better and I know you're not really able to make sense of the sounds right now, but I promise you that's going to come. Okay? Before surgery, the X's were Amanda's left ear, so she started in the severe, sloped down to profound, and gradually worked her way back up to severe. Today, just turning the, the implant on initially, she's in this mild hearing loss range. Okay. So she has gained a lot of hearing just in one session. As we continue to work with her, we'll see those levels come closer to the normal closer. range. Closer. And then her ability to understand sound and speech, that'll continue to improve too. So, And now that you're using the hearing aid and the implant, what is that? How does that sound? It's different. Like, I mean, I'm, I know I'm hearing clearer with this one now, right now because I just turned it on, but, I mean, it's different. Okay. Do you feel like it's better at all? Yeah. Okay. What's your impression so far? Good. Okay. Did you get to talk to your husband or your kids yet? Yeah. <laughs> and what is that? What do you, what do they sound like? I don't know. Does it sound weird? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay. He's still the guy that you married, as far as you know. <laughs> don't get into that. <laughs> Next time you come back, uh, we'll look forward to hear how the progress is, and um, we're really excited for you. Okay. So. Okay.